Hi, this is Mrs. Hogarth with Art with Hogarth. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about nature and an artist named Andy Goldsworthy. Andy Goldsworthy's media in his art, as what he used to make his art, was nature itself. And here you see a picture of just leaves. He had to go out and sort through leaves in the fall, obviously, and sort the colors and kind of figure out what he was going to do with this whole piece. Now, a good gust of wind is going to blow this away. So keep in mind that all of his work was very temporary. His art became the becomes the photograph of of his arrangement in nature. But again, nature is his media to make art. He's all about color, shape, texture, and pattern. So here you see a lot of color going in and it's creating the shape of a circle, but it's getting deeper red as it goes out in the circle. Here's an Andy Goldsworthy. Wouldn't that be crazy to find in the woods as you're walking through the woods? You would think it was a portal to another universe or a door to something really special. So this is just sticks. Again, his media, what he makes his artwork with, is nature. So just collecting sticks and building this giant doorway or circle in the woods. What a find this would be. Take a picture of it. It's going to last forever. These are two of his pieces. One on the left is called a serpentine, and it's just logs, kind of a curved zigzag is what a serpentine is, making a path going through the woods. And I took this idea and I thought, how can I use this thoughtful, creative thinking in my yard? So I found some big rocks and I put them in the yard instead of just making them in a line around a border, I just put them in the middle of nowhere, kind of like this in a path and made them curve and turn. And so I have this pile of rocks or line of rocks that has a serpentine. It's kind of cool. Everybody else thinks it's a little crazy, but I love it. It's my piece of art. The other one is a concentric circle, and he started with smaller leaves and they're lighter colors, and it's all one line if you follow it around and around and around and around. It's all one line, okay? And as it gets bigger, the leaves get bigger and they also get darker. So he had to sort and kind of plan. A good gust of wind is going to blow this away. So again, he took a photograph of it. So Andy Goldsworthy is all about artful thinking and using nature in his art. So I was outside and I find some pine cones and they're little baby pine cones. They're just a couple inches, but some were big and some were small. And I think pine cones are really cool because they have this wonderful pattern. So I started arranging the pine cones in the grass or in the moss actually, because they disappeared in the grass. So I had to think about what would be in the background as well. So I arranged them and arranged them and made a consent, kind of a concentric circle or a radial design, meaning it's radiating out from the center. So I made this design with my pine cones and I took a picture of it, but I think it's cool that someone's gonna be walking through the woods and find this little design in the woods. And I love little surprises like that. It's like giving away your art to somebody. So what can you do with what you have? You might not have pine cones or even leaves, access to leaves, or, 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 but you do have forks and most people have pencils and paper and candy and sticks and rocks and maybe leaves and grass and toys and crayons even. So what can you do with these? Who hasn't opened a box of chocolate covered candy that's colorful like this picture in the middle and sorted them all out? and arrange them by color or made a design. See, you're thinking artfully when you do that. You're kind of making a piece of art. Your, your toys are colorful. They're repetitive in, in shape and size, so you could easily make a design. So let's talk about my stack of forks. They could, they're all the same and they're a cool shape. So you could start thinking about different ways you could arrange even something as simple as a fork or plastic silverware or spoons are cool. So I've kind of played around with different designs and I made some art with my fork. Art doesn't have to be with pencils and paper and um, 
pain. It can be with things. So you all have things. I found this little, I tore a piece of paper here and I just started folding it to make a repetitive design or a pattern. And you open it up and you have this zigzag. So what if I did a bunch of these? What could I make? If you folded it around, you kind of have a different shape. So you can do some things. See? You can do some kind of fun, crazy things with, I can make a crown too. Da -da -da -da. Oh, okay, I lost my crown. <laughs> so you can do some really fun things with just what you have around you. It doesn't always have to be nature. So I want you to think about just living creatively, arranging things creatively, and being creative in everything that you do in your life and become artful with your thinking. Have fun and make some art and go forth and create.